computer channel in today's video i want to show how we can create small patches from a big image i want to show it in two different ways at first i want to show it sequentially then in the second step i want to show how we can create patches from a big image randomly as well so i have already given a heading so create patches from big image sequentially so let's see how we can do that so as usual we need to uh, import our required libraries so for creating patches or in other terms a small portion of big image sequentially we can use a library called patchify so let's uh, the other libraries as well port image and uh, we need numpy as well so these are our required libraries so now i will Open an image that I have uploaded in my current working directory of the Jupyter notebook. So I have a squid image. Let's visualize it. So this is the squid image that I have. Okay, I want to okay, let's check the size. So this is uh, 4020 to 50 width and height you can also I think yes so this is this notation is width then height okay so and this is a color channel you can see from it that it's a color channel you can also check it uh, using this command so RGB so let's uh, resize it for better understanding so ing dot resize let's resize it to 800 and 400 so we have reduced it from 4020 to 50 to 800 and 400 so resized image dot size i guess okay and let's first see so this is an image right we can confirm it by checking the type so the img so pil image image so this is image now i want to create a list which will uh, collect all the patches from this this list image so this is how we can do it using patchify patchify dot patchify and uh, we have to convert this image into array for extracting patches so we can simply pass this then we can mention our batch size as well batch size will be let's say 100 100 3 is for color images and step also 100 because we have 800 400 and we can divide these two numbers using 100 easily so let's run it and we can also now check the shape so 4, 8, 1, 100, 103 is for our uh, image, the shape of the patch. 4 is towards, I think, this direction, height. And 8 is towards the width. Okay, now we need to uh, run two for loops. So range, 
so that says dot shape zero so zero is four this is patches dot shape zero another for loop to so for i and for j one get patches patches so i j zero then we can just mention this so colon 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 is uh, this three okay then we can append the extracted patches to our list okay so let's run it okay now we can check the length of the list so 32 i think it makes sense so 4 into 8 is 32 so the length of our list is 32 so 4 into 8 by i mean this 4 i mean 4 into 8 okay now let's so build dot i am sure let's uh, visualize the big image as well as the sorry this size Sized PLP dot axis of fig on axis one on because later we will also create patches randomly. So for sequentially, I want to use one PLP dot supports. You can mention the rows so four. Let's keep it four eight as usual. Big size will be six and three, and to use a very small figure size to show both images within the window. So now, sorry, for for R on in four, sorry, range. Of C1 in range 8 because we have 8 columns and 4 rows. Let's say R1 C1 dot I am show. We have to pass the each element of our list which uh, contains the patches. And uh, axis, yeah, axis will be off. So then we have to increment by one. So I think it's okay. Let's run it. Now closely look at uh, the there are 32 in the petified section. So this is our original, uh, sorry, not original, research image. 800 by 400 yes 800 by 400 then we have created uh, patches of size 100 by 100 and 3 is what RGB channels and if you look at these two if you compare the patches with the research image you can see this is exactly the same image as this one but patchified and uh, yes, same as patch uh, version. So this is how we can uh, create patches from a big image sequentially. Now, another way is to do it randomly. So let's list it here. Let's change blue image. Now instead of sequentially, now I want to do it randomly okay so let's create a list as usual and we have to convert the image uh, to numpy array at first so resized img now 
let's check the shape so the shape is 483 now in case of random patches let's say uh, so in case of random we create patches it depends on us how, ma how many patches we want to create so we for given similarity this one let's just say 32 again so in for k in range and since we want to create randomly we have to generate two random integers so uh, we can do it like this sorry this is rand int image to array shape 0 so shape 0 is obviously this one and we have to subtract 100 i will explain a little bit later why we have to subtract 100 and in the other case let's y shape 1 so shape 1 is 800 then as usual we can random patches so we have image to array then x plus 100 and y sorry y, y plus 100 so whatever random integer these two are giving us we are uh, going 100 more so basically this will uh, make this line will make 100 by 100 patches then we can simply append collect dot append random patches let's uh, run it okay so it ran and we can obviously check the length so 32 because the loop is running 32 times and now we can just simply copy it now let's just change a few things let's make it p two zero two zero and this will be b b now let's run it okay sorry mistake this will be collect yes okay now see this again resized image pacified resized image same image because the patches have been extracted uh, sequentially of 100 by 100 pixels now look at this one you can see randomly different portion have been pacified of this resized image and in case of random patches actually there will be a lot of overlaps because uh, of this randomly generated integer so let's now uh, show how you have to subtract 100 so it is giving us 116 now 29 if i run it again 147 so the difference between 147 and 116 is less than 100 is 31 so if we do not uh, subtract 100 then in case the integer is almost close to let's say either 400 or 800 let's say 397 or 698 uh, sorry 798 then we cannot actually go 100 pixels further from that position that's why i have uh, subtracted 100 because i want to make 100 by 100 pixels if you want to write functional code you can save this into a variable uh, i didn't do that but for professional code you can do that so this is how we, we need to subtract 100 and since uh, 147 116 are not separated by 100 there will be overlaps when we'll go 100 steps from these two uh, random integers that's why we have many overlap 
so so let's see so i think these two kind of uh, similar position showing similar position these two images so this is i guess 23rd and 24th and we will get different results every time i we run it because this is randomly generating in this up now so if i run this cell let's say in, uh, in third and fourth we have a squid let's run again now in third and fourth we do not have a squid we have a stone and something else that uh, green stone okay so this is uh, how we can get uh, patches from a big image both randomly and sequentially so that's the end of this video thanks for watching